Why is quixotic not quixotic, a proper adjective? Adjectives derived from proper nouns are known as proper adjectives and are capitalized. A piece of writing could be Shakespearean, not Shakespearean. A person may be Canadian, not Canadian. Even Chrome Spellchecker sees these as correct and incorrect. However, Quixotic is written in lowercase, despite coming from the name of the character Don Quixote. Similarly, draconian laws are named for Draco, a particularly brutal senator from ancient Athens. Does anyone know the reasoning behind some proper adjectives not being capitalized in common usage? In a comment posted years ago to the question why is biblical the only proper adjective to not use uppercase. I listed some other exceptions to the general rule that the first letter of an adjective derived from a proper name is normally capitalized. Only the letters Q, W, X, and Y did not yield an example, for some reason, I failed to notice Quixotic. Arabesque, Byzantine, Caesarean, Draconian, Epicurean, Foradic, Galvanic, Herculean, Italic, Jesuitical, Kabbalistic, Lilliputian, Mercurial, Nazi, Oedipo, Pyrrhic, Rubenesque, Spartan, Topsicorean, Utopian, Voltaic, and Zephyrus. Why do these exceptions occur? The not very satisfactory answer seems to be that common usage determines whether an adjective based on a proper name is initial capped or lowercase. Dictionaries provide their spelling preferences based on what amount to the found object of preponderant reward usage in each case, and thenceforth, reward usage, to the extent that it is influenced by people who look things up in dictionaries, tends to reflect the dictionary treatment. The very circularity of the process makes it extremely difficult to determine where and when the critical decision regarding initial cap versus all lowercase got made. I don't see how else to explain why Oedipo is usually initial capped when it refers to the mythical character Oedipus, as in Oedipo resistance to fate, but usually lowercase when it refers to Freud's Oedipus complex, as in Oedipo feelings, although the complex is explicitly named after Oedipus. Brian Ghana Ghana's Modern American Usage, 2nd edition, 2003, concludes that trying to explain exceptions to the normal rules about what gets capitalized and what doesn't is a fool's game. There is simply no way to reason out why Stone Age is capitalized but Space Age is usually not, why October is capitalized but Autumn is not, why in scientific names the genus is capitalized but the species is not, even when the species name is derived from a proper name, Ranolifus philippinensis. Ultimately, Capitalization conventions rest on strong general tendencies tempered by exceptions that are neither consistent nor explicable. As you correctly say, technically words associated with a proper noun should be capitalized. However as time and usage goes on, these words tend to become words in their own right, not associated anymore with the person they are named after. So, Shakespearean means associated with or like Shakespeare. It has no meaning apart from the association with the person. On the other hand, quixotic is defined as foolishly impractical especially in the pursuit of ideals. Especially, marked by rash lofty romantic ideas or extravagantly chivalrous action. The definition makes no reference to quixot, and people can and do use the word without knowing who Don Quixote is. This is even more true with the draconian, which I had no idea was related to a person. Over time the adjective morphs from directly referring to the person etc. to indicating characteristics that were once associated with that person but are now considered independently. It's likely that this morph happens over time, with some people starting to use lowercase while others keep the initial cap. Something similar happens with genericized trademarks, where words like Google, Hoover, Trampoline and Band Aid lose their capitalization over time. So the answer is that the word loses its initial cap when it stops being associated with the person or thing it was originally associated with. Salads can tell us something. Caesar. Cobb. Waldorf. 
Greek. Even though these are very common salads, and likely to be served in a variety of ways, their names are usually capitalized. By the way, I'm using the Wikipedia for consistency, but if you search for them on the internet, the recipe websites tend to follow the same usage. On the other hand, the porterhouse steak, which the OED attributes to the porterhouse eatery in early 19th century New York, has lost its capital letter. My theory is that contention over the origin, and differences over what a porterhouse actually is, must have played a role in this. But I have no larger theory to present, especially since with sources like Hollandaise and Bernays, the English have capitalized what were originally lowercase French adjectives, Hollandaise and Bernays.